Now, seeing as how I'm at the high point of the head, I don't actually want to bring that straight up. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Free Salon Education. Today, I'm gonna to be going over a rod set perm. So on this half of the head right now, you can actually see what that looks like. It's a really great soft wave that allows for just the minimal amount of volume. And it's just something fun and different to do. So we're gonna talk about the stars of the day right now, which would be Olaplex as well as Paul Mitchell perms. And the thing that's great about the Olaplex treatment is that you can go in before you even start the actual perm treatment or perm process. And you can start off on highlighted hair with your step two, plus a really great protein. So I started off with the supercharged moisture from Paul Mitchell. So this is great because it's gonna fill in all of those little gaps that are created from the highlighting process and the coloring process. Now for this, mannequin today, I had actually skipped that step and I only went in with the Olaplex step one with the Paul Mitchell perm. So with that, you would add 1 16th of the Olaplex step one to your perm solution. And then you would wrap the hair as normal. Now, if you're gonna go with that step two, like I was saying before, if the hair is really, really deeply damaged from color treatment, then using that step two with your conditioning treatment is really gonna help to keep the integrity of the hair. The only difference being that you would put that on after shampooing. So these are just a couple of little features and benefits of Paul Mitchell perms. These are things that most of the time we don't really consider when we're going into doing any of our chemical work. But just like what Matt talks about with envisioning where you're going with your roadmap for say like sectioning your haircuts. Well, it's the same thing when you're doing a chemical process. You're gonna wanna make sure that you're doing a thorough consultation, assessing the hair to see what it is that you need. So we already know, all right, this is chemically treated. It's also got a glaze over it. It's gonna need a little bit more help. So yes, I wanna have the gentlest, but because I'm doing a wave and I want this to last, I don't want it to fall out in like six weeks. I'm gonna need something a little stronger. Normally I would go with an acid wave because I'm gonna wanna close that down. But seeing as how I want something slightly stronger, I actually chose to go with an exothermic. And because of the Olaplex step one, I was able to mix that in there, keep the integrity of the hair, plus give a little bit more strength to that wave pattern. As we all know that wavy hair structurally, it has a little bit more wave towards the middle and the end of the hair. Whereas we're trying to create a little bit of body and just a little bit of wave closer to the root or the anchor of the hair. So that's why I went with an exothermic versus an acid. We were talking about flex rods. So this is what I'm talking about right here. Now, each color will mean a little something different. Now, I chose purple because I wanted that larger wave pattern. So you can see from this little example right here, it's pretty true to whether it's perm rods or it's regular rods that like the purple, it's larger. You can use this on medium to long lengths. As you can see at the bottom in the parentheses where it says over six inches, that's the suggestion on the length of hair that you're gonna choose to use these perm rods on. So as you saw that we had some examples of red rods and things like that. So each rod, just like with your regular small cylindrical ones, they're gonna create a little bit of a different diameter on the hair. Now, the difference between using a regular perm set where we would normally do like our four quadrants, for this, I'm approaching it pretty much the same way that you would a haircut, which seeing as how we don't wanna do a whole lot of volume, we know that we're gonna use vertical sections in cutting to remove a little bit of weight. Also, we're gonna use elevation. So we're pretty much using the same thing, but for this, I'm gonna do a zigzag section and it's going to be on a vertical diagonal. So that way, the actual diffusion of the curl is really nice and soft. Now I'm gonna find where I wanna take my first section, which is right over the ear. And I'm just drawing against the scalp very lightly because you never want to irritate the scalp or cause any abrasions when you're doing any type of chemical service, but especially for relaxers and perms.
I double book the bookend them so that way I can really make sure that I'm not gonna get any of those little fish hooks or a loose end. Okay, so we're just gonna bend those, lock them in. So seeing as how I rolled under, I'm going to secure that over. Again, drawing along the scalp in a zigzag motion, very lightly, making sure I am not causing any abrasions. Now seeing as how I'm at the high point of the head, I don't actually wanna bring that straight up. I'm going to just angle that down a little bit because again, I don't wanna create a whole lot of volume right at the crown. I literally just wanted it for the front so that way when the hair is back, it doesn't take over like the whole face shape and drown the person. When the section itself, I'm sorry, is too big, just cut that in half. And that's where I love my little half rods, which they do come in different lengths. So I have ones that are longer and other ones that are shorter, even though they're the same sizes. Wrapping that up. Now, when you have loose sections like that, you don't wanna just wrap it and then leave that because when you're putting the perm solution on, that is going to expand and then that would cause frizz. And now last one. Then our next step being that we would wrap with our cotton coil. So because this is a lot larger and there are more gaps in here, I usually like to fill in those spaces. Now I go along the edges just to anchor that in. But then I go in between and I double wrap. So then I go around and I just make sure that everything is nice and covered. So I'm seeing little gaps in between here. So I'm just gonna stuff those, okay, and that way when I'm applying to everywhere else, the cotton's gonna catch everything. It's going to keep it from dripping down the neck and everywhere else. So this is what this perm set will look like. Well, thank you for tuning in. Check us out on Free Salon Education or FSC Now and watch the videos. There are so many but have a great day and stay safe wherever you are.